Hello, I'm Scott Walls at Embarcadero Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to register Oracle, SQL Server, Sybase, and DB2 data sources from a single SQL development tool. That tool being Embarcadero's Rapid SQL XE. Here, we're looking at Rapid SQL XE's main screen. To register a DB2 data source, simply right click the node, register, select the IBM DB2 Universal Database option. For the server, we'll drop this down and we'll select our entry. Here, we're going to change this to a more descriptive name. We'll press next, the user ID and password. We'll select auto connect. This will save the username and encrypt the password. Test the connection. The connection succeeded. We'll press next step on through and here we will make this our test database so at this time we'll finish rapid sql will ask if we'd like to connect right now we'll go ahead and select no let's collapse the ibm db2 node to register oracle right click on the oracle node select register select the oracle option press next at this point we can go ahead and directly enter the connection parameters or we can select the use the tns names alias we'll select that option drop this down we will select the entry we'd like. It populates with the information from the TNS names file. We'll change this to another descriptive data source name. Next here we'll username and password. We will select the connect as with the Oracle connection. We can select as normal, the sysasm, sysdba, and sysoper. We will go ahead and auto connect again. Press test connect. The connection was succeeded. Next, in this one, we will select a category here as QA and press finish. And it will ask you if we'd like to connect. Let's go ahead and deny that. And to register SQL Server, we'll select Microsoft SQL Server. And in this one, I will go ahead and directly the connection parameters. Here we will another name. This one we will be a production database data source. Press next, we'll use our SA, test the connection, the connection was succeeded. We'll go down to the data source group and we'll make this one a production data source. And it will, again prompts us to connect. SQL Sybase, very similar. Right click register, here we'll select Sybase Adaptive Server, press next, we will get information from the any, SQL any file. Here we'll select our local, and again we'll make this one a production database as well right click we'll do auto connect test the connection the connection succeeded go ahead and select the data source group we'll make that production right there so there we've connected to and created the data sources for db2 oracle sql server and sybase but i also want to show you is how to organize your data sources so let's go right click on a new production data bases press ok so at this point we have a node for our production databases if you remember we had a couple data sources that we set up were, that were production so at this point we can drag these in and drop them into the specific node that we would like so here I've created a new node called production databases that actually contain databases that are indeed production databases but are originating from different platforms one being SQL Server and one being Sybase you can use Rapid SQL's Data Source Explorer to customize the order and the grouping as you would like them that would fit your needs so again registering DB2 Oracle SQL Server and Sybase data sources within a single SQL development tool